Hymns broke my dick. Today we were just focusing on hymns. 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 I stopped taking hymns. 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 If you don't know hymns, it's a telemedicine company that sells erectile dysfunction and hair loss pills like Viagra and Cialis to millennial men. And they use these cute little ads with this minimalist aesthetic to do it. On the surface, Hims looks pretty harmless. Good stuff. FDA approved. People love this stuff. Experience love at first bite. But this innocent, friendly image is actually just a giant illusion. Because the sad reality is that Hims is not in the business of helping men become healthier. No, they're in the business of getting men hooked on super dangerous drugs that are destroying their health. If you're taking finasteride, the plausible side effects are uh, decreased libido, decreased ejaculate, and inability to maintain an erection. Every side effect that finasteride said it could bring me, it did. And yet, if you're losing hair, Hims doesn't tell you to get rid of your shampoo and conditioners that are filled with terrible chemicals. Hell no. Try these hair loss pills instead that are usually only prescribed to grandpas and can cause suicidal thoughts. Oh, and once you start having suicidal thoughts, we have the perfect solution, antidepressants. Antidepressants that are known to kill your sex drive. And once your sex drive is dead and you have stuff like erectile dysfunction, don't worry about cleaning up your diet and exercise. No, 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 no. What you need is a $140 Viagra pill that when taken long-term can lead to vision loss and heart attacks. That sounds serious. Hims calls itself a telemedicine company. You know, the thing of in, about healthcare in general, and this is the, the place we started, we're a healthcare company, is that it makes you feel sick. They do not treat the root cause of the problem, the problem causing your ongoing erectile dysfunction. But when you're dealing with erectile dysfunction, it's just not so simple. But in reality, Hims is no better than Big Pharma, and young men all over the world are falling for it. I wasn't going into any pharmacy and asking for Viagra. Firstly, the confidence I had of the hell I'll be so embarrassed. And secondly, they'll be looking at me like, you're obviously lying, you're a young man, what the hell do you need it for? So I just Googled it. Look at this website right here, Hims. I think they're quite cynically targeting people my age or Gen Z or whatever. Looks like a fucking Urban Outfitters website. My name's Robert Oliver and I'm the internet's chief propaganda officer, showing you the rules to the game so you can go all in. This is the horribly evil business of Hims. Not sure where to start with ED treatment? Through Hims. So you're the CEO of Hims, and you have one goal in life, to get the men of America hooked on profitable big pharma drugs. But that's easier said than done. See, no 30-year-old wants to have a big, ugly bottle of Rogaine in their shower, and he doesn't want to have to go all the way to the doctor's office to get a prescription for a sad little bottle of erectile dysfunction pills. It's embarrassing. So you created a brand aimed at modern millennials. Instead of doctor's visits, guys could just get prescriptions and order their medication online. ED is personal. And now, so is treating it. Introducing Hard Mints, wintergreen flavored prescription chewables available in a variety of doses using doctor trusted ingredients. But to do all of this, you needed some next level branding. So you hired one of the best branding agencies in the business, Partners in Spade. And you told him to go to town on Hims. And instead of generic pharmaceutical packaging, Partners in Spade helped you make every one of your drugs sleek, sexy, and Instagram worthy. They helped you make the brand more approachable, friendly, and casual. You wanted Gen Z and millennials to think that whenever there's a problem with their health, there was a cool, sexy pill that they could get discreetly prescribed online. So in 2017, you launched your site and the orders started pouring in. Instead of going to the doctor and being told to eat and sleep better, they were buying your generic Viagra for ED, Prosepia for hair loss, and Zoloft for whatever. And sure, these medications do have some very serious side effects, but you didn't want to list those on the site because side effects are boring. Safety is boring. There's a ton of healthcare brands where they're beating you over the head about how safe they are, right? It's like, this stuff is FDA approved or this is trusted by doctors. You know, when you walk the, the aisles of like Walgreens or CVS, you see this stuff all over the place. This is how the old brands would confirm to you that this stuff was safe. We decided to essentially ditch that entirely. I think the new generation of consumer, frankly, doesn't want to be told that this stuff is safe and that this stuff is the best and that this stuff is trusted. They want to be shown it, right? They want to be shown it by other people validating that this product works. After all, it's all about branding and results. 
so you conveniently list the side effects on your blog instead. In your first week of launching your site, you made a million dollars. And just last year, you made over 525 million. That's half a billion dollars selling men drugs they don't really need. It was like feeding candy to a baby. And all of your success was thanks to just how easy it was to prescribe these hardcore drugs online. Since the dawn of man, getting help has been hard. Whether it's for ED, hair loss, or your mental health. If you're a 30-something year old who wants to order drugs from Hims, it's insanely easy. All you need to do is answer a few survey questions. How often do you have trouble getting it up? What results are you looking for in the bedroom? And just like that, you're instantly routed to an online consultation with a doctor. This can be on video, by phone, or text. It all just depends on your state's regulations. In this consultation, you'll tell the doctor all of your past health issues just to make sure the ED or hair loss pills won't make you even more sick. And this is no different from what would happen during a regular doctor's visit, but there's a huge problem with HIMSS doctor's consultations. Unlike in a real doctor's office, men can lie about their past health conditions because HIMSS doctors don't have access to their entire medical history. So if you really want a pack of Viagra, you can get it. You just have to look up which illnesses can cause complications and make sure you don't mention any. And a lot of guys do this. One doctor who worked for him said that one time she rejected a patient for a prescription because he had diabetes. And the patient said he was just gonna go to someone else and not mention that he has diabetes this time. It's really that simple. And it could lead to fatal consequences. But Hims doesn't care about that. As long as prescriptions keep getting prescribed, they are making money. And that's why Adrian Rollison, the VP of Medical Affairs for Hims, spends his days pressuring Hims doctors to make sales. I mean, prescriptions. One Hims doctor said that when Rollison was hired, he told all the doctors who had low prescription counts to go back and approve the ones they had rejected. Another said that doctors there get monitored, and if they're not prescribing enough, they'll literally get sent a message to pick it up. The doctors are even encouraged to prescribe drugs for things that those drugs are not normally used for, like using Zoloft as a treatment for premature ejaculation. As somebody who's taken antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications in the past, these in the wrong dosages can cause people to have erratic thoughts, um, you know, erratic behaviors, suicidal ideations, suicidal, you know, attempts or prescribing blood pressure medication as a way to calm down before a big date for hims the more young men they can get hooked on their pills the better and if a few people get sick then so be it The internet guru I spoke to before the break, millions of people swear by their miracle medications, but at what cost? Kevin Malley says the hair loss drug Propecia did more than grow his hair. He says it made him slip into a mental fog, it made him impotent, and even shrank his genitals. Well, I want to warn other, other men who might be considering Propecia that this drug is extremely dangerous and it's not what uh, Merck said it was. Scroll through him's product page and you'll find every type of ED pill imaginable. Cialis, Stendra, Viagra. Sometimes the best way to get closer is to get as far away from it all as possible. Don't let erectile dysfunction get in the way. Viagra. Viagra, America's most prescribed ED treatment, can help you enjoy a more satisfying sexual experience. Ready to talk to your doctor? These pills have a laundry list of side effects, and the risk of contracting a side effect from these medications goes way up if you have diabetes or heart disease. But remember how the HIMSS doctors can't really know for sure if you have these conditions? Long-term use of Viagra can lead to major intestinal disorders, heart attack, vision loss. It can make your depression or anxiety worse. It can even lead to psychotic episodes. In study, there was a report just recently published in the March 2000 Journal of Neuro-Ophthalmology where they reported on seven cases of uh, men who actually developed severe visual impairment following taking a, a Viagra. Most doctors do not recommend Viagra long-term because of these side effects. But HIMSS? You can literally sign up for a subscription where they will deliver them monthly. And if you take Viagra but don't really have ED, which is the case for most young men, you are in even more danger of getting bad side effects. And what about hair loss? 
Hims offers everything from hair growth gummies to anti-hair loss shampoo to generic finasteride, a hair loss medication that ironically also happens to cause erectile dysfunction as a side effect. And like any drug, as we said, finasteride does come with some of its scary, scary side effects. So the following side effects are as follows. One, decrease in sex drive. Two, trouble getting and keeping an erection. Three, decrease in semen. Um, allergic reactions such as rashes, swelling on the lips, tender uh, nests on your chest, tongue, throat, face, problems ejaculating, poor infertility in your semen, and in rare cases, breast cancer. That's right. If you have both hair loss and erectile dysfunction from low testosterone, you can either take their finasteride and ruin your libido, or take their ED pills and still have a bald head. Or you can take both, just like Hims wants you to. Erectile dysfunction, loss of sex drive, things like that are very real side effects of finasteride which is the main chemical that they prescribe with hips. So they tell you right out of the gate this is a possibility. And I thought, you know, not me. I don't have side effects because I am all that is freaking man. And it turns out about two weeks later, uh, I was no longer anything that was man. And um, yeah, it had me screwed up, man. Pay attention to this. Thing. You have hair loss, okay? And so you take finasteride. While you're taking finasteride, Suddenly, you're one of those guys who's unlucky enough to suffer from side effects sexually. So you can't get your junk up or you can't get an erection. So what do you do? You go back to Hims, and Hims, the doctor will prescribe you some medication to fix your erection. You know, you get your shit up. Hims wants American men to think that in order to cure their chronic erectile dysfunction and hair loss, all they need to do is pop a pill or a fun chewable ED mint. But according to pretty much every doctor in the world, disorders like erectile dysfunction and hair loss are usually just one symptom of a bigger problem. My erectile dysfunction was not a physical problem. There was nothing wrong with my body. All my hormone levels were in check. I was experiencing psychological erectile dysfunction. What causes it is that the reward center in your brain becomes desensitized over time because of the heightened arousal that your brain has been conditioned to become used to and then need higher amounts of. Now, if you're over the age of 60 and you have some physical health problems and other health conditions going on, then yes, you have more of a reason to rely on these pills for help in the bedroom. However, if you're under 60 years old, these pills should only be used temporarily as you work to sort out the underlying issues causing your erectile dysfunction. These underlying issues are your mental health, watching too much adult content online, stress management strategies or lack of, and improving your physical health and fitness. Hims doesn't want you to think that your erectile dysfunction could be because of your anxiety or watching too much porn, or that your hair loss is because of low testosterone from your bad diet, lack of exercise, and estrogens in your cologne. You know, for our ED medication, this is ED medication. It's not like, you know, necessarily the most fun thing to get delivered to your home. We would spray uh, the Labo Santal 28, which is like a really expensive cologne. Somebody in the front knows it. Um, <laughs> they're like making fun of me. But we would spray every box, the inside of the box with that cologne, because when the men would open it or when their partners would open it, it smelled amazing. Hims is right in that erectile dysfunction and hair loss is an epidemic right now in young men. But where Hims is horribly wrong is that the answer is not to take some hardcore pharmaceuticals that only destroy your health further. No, the real reason why erectile dysfunction and hair loss is such a problem for young men is because of low testosterone. The average 30 year old guy today would have the same testosterone levels as a guy who was 60 years old in 1950. It's ridiculous. A new study found that testosterone levels are down some 37% in men over the past 15 years. And the only way you're gonna improve your testosterone is by improving your lifestyle. That means exercising, getting sunlight, cutting out all processed foods, lowering your stress, cutting out plastics that have phthalates that destroy your testosterone. And for hair loss specifically, stop using shampoo and conditioner because it's also filled with phthalates and other chemicals. Like this guy grew his hair back completely naturally just through cleaning up his diet and washing his hair with distilled water. I stopped doing anything that had to do with unnatural chemicals. So I quit the Medoxidil, the topical finasteride, and I quit my hair loss shampoo. I also stopped washing my hair 
with normal shower water. So I made sure to wash my hair with only distilled water because distilled water doesn't contain any calcium or other particles that might harm the scalp or your hair. That's step number one to cleaning up your lifestyle. You're gonna get 80% of the benefits from doing just that. But if you want a little bit of a boost without all of the pharmaceutical grade side effects, then check out my all natural testosterone supplement, Kingmaker. I'll link it below. I've been in the supplement game for a long time, so I know how sketchy testosterone supplements can be. Most of them are scams that barely contain any active ingredients whatsoever. So with Kingmaker, I set out to create the testosterone supplement to end all testosterone supplements. Kingmaker contains 12 clinically studied ingredients. It does not have proprietary blends, so you can actually see what's in it in the proper amounts on the label. Never buy supplements with a proprietary blend. And the way you can tell it's legit is because of the serving size. Kingmaker is five capsules. That's right, five pills a day, it might seem like a lot, but if the serving size was just one or two capsules a day, it would be impossible for you to get the right doses of each ingredient to actually make a difference. And yet, that's what every other fake testosterone supplement does. Another way you know Kingmaker is legit is because of the price. Kingmaker isn't cheap. Because of the real ingredients in the right doses, it costs me as much money to make Kingmaker as what other fake testosterone supplements actually sell for. So scroll down and click the link below to try it out now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.